you like all of England to be um, if, if all of England was Muslim, it would be a fantastic place to live. Oh, holy shit. But I do not want that culture here. What culture? The, the Islamic culture. Yes. We just had three MPs in Telford, yeah, done for grooming girls, yeah? English, your people, my people. Why are white sex tourists in Philippines always white Christians? Why are the rapists in the Catholic Church always white Christians? The word, listen to this word again, vulnerable. Why are they vulnerable? Because society didn't care until brown men started raping them. Okay, then why was I raped? Okay. Well, not me as well. Yes. What the hell? And why is everyone looking at this? You know why? Because Islam is fantastic, like I said to you. Are you missing out? I've lived in a Muslim country, it's not fantastic. What's that got to do with Islam? It, you, I had to cover everything, I had to... You cover everything now? Yeah, because you want to say it now. No, no, no. Which country did you live in? Kuwait. Right, so what? you lived in Kuwait, yeah? For how long? I had to... Uh, four years. Right, and you had to cover up your saying? Yes. Okay, and you think that's an indictment on Islam? It's just not a very nice way to have to live. Oh, so, so you're saying, so what you're doing now is you're putting it on the Kuwaiti women? How is that, you know, I don't understand why the feminists aren't behind this. I mean, no behind what? Do English, English reverts to Islam in England? Do no, listen, listen, listen. women to be covered up? Women have free to wear what they like. Are you, do you think women should be prohibited from wearing no, what they like? I came here once wearing right. a burqa. Right. And I then was asked, am I Muslim? And I said, no. Right. And the guy then said, why aren't you wearing your normal clothes? I said, I'm wearing this because I thought it was a pretty good disguise. Right. Again, that anecdote has nothing to do with what we're talking about. And then he, I said, if I wear my We're talking clothes, about Islam in England. You're going to think I'm a slut, aren't you? And no. he said, yes. Yeah, but I don't, give a, I don't care who he was. I don't know who he was, right? We're talking about Islam in England now, yeah? Forget your anecdotes about would, would what a Muslim like, said to you. Would you like all of England to be um, Muslim? If, if all of England was Islam, Muslim, it would be a fantastic place to live. Oh, holy shit. Why did you say that? Are you mad? Do you know what that tells me? You haven't a clue about Islam. Exactly. You haven't a clue. You think you know about Islam, and I'll be honest with you, if I believed what you believed, I would hate Islam like you. Do you want Sharia law? No, uh, it's uh, any country. Do you want Sharia law? One second, one second. Do you know what Sharia law is? Yes, I do. No, Tell me. So what, it's a suppression of women. Women would be like, <laughs> it, it's just so anti- No, 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 no. Forget your blasé. What is Sharia law? It's whatever rules you guys go by. No. Sharia law is the guidance from God Almighty for his creation. That's what we believe, yeah? I'm not with her, by the way. I'm just standing here, okay? No, no problem. Once I finish with her, I can deal with you. It's not a problem. Okay, if, you, if you're... I have a reasonable question, just a reasonable one, but finish with... Is it reasonable? How reasonable? It's just, like, can you say one country where that I could go to, where the example, where it would be a good example of Islam, now she's been to Kuwait, she didn't like it there. I've been to Kuwait, I loved it there. I, uh, no, right, I, so, I, it was so nice, I just... I've been to Morocco, I loved it there. Right. I've been to Dubai and I loved it there also. Right, okay. I've been to Oman and that was also fantastic. So you are suggesting all these countries as countries that... I can take you places in England you'll hate. <laughs> What's your point? We can all go to bad places. No go zones. Well, I've been to Kuwait, I've been to Morocco, I've been to Syria, I've been to lots of places. They're very interesting, but I do not want that culture here. What culture? The, the Islamic culture. Yeah, tell me about this culture. Here. So you don't want a culture that takes care of elderly people. When your parents reach old age, you don't want a culture that takes care of them. You want a culture that abandons them, like your culture. Yeah? See, I don't like that culture. That's interesting. Up that here? aspect. What about the gang that's raping aspect? Okay, let's talk about gang raping, yeah? Okay. Yeah, that's a nice little Where's introduction into our culture. Would you like to talk about grooming gangs? <laughs> yes, please. Okay. I'm sure you might know some of these people. Me? Why would I know Pakistanis in Rotherham? I don't know, but... Right. So it's a stupid statement. Anyway. Okay. Grooming gangs. Who are grooming gangs? There are people who prey on vulnerable girls, yeah? Now, you're not going to stop rapists raping, it's what they do, Whether, whatever colour they are. It's very organised. Do you agree with that? Okay, we just had three MPs in Telford, 
Yeah? Done for grooming girls. Yeah? English. Your people. My people. Of course it's British. So we know so British rapists. 100% of paedophiles who abuse babies and children are white English. What about the white English that go to Thailand and Philippines for sex uh, sex tourism? Where's your where's your campaigning for them? Where's your campaigning? Where's your campaigning? Why do you ignore it when a white man rapes somebody? We care when a brown man rapes somebody. Why? This is not about culture. I'll tell you what it's about. Shall I tell you what it's about? I was I'll tell you, I'll give you one word, and I'll, this is going to refer to your, the whites going to Philippines raping kids, and it's going to refer to Pakistanis or whatever in Rotherham raping kids. One word. Vulnerability. Vulnerability. Do you see middle class girls being groomed? No. Do you see upper class girls being groomed? No. It's always lower class girls. Why? Because this society has a problem, yeah? It is creating neglected girls on an industrial scale. How can 1,400 girls be groomed in Rotherham, yeah? And nobody cared about them. Nobody cared. So because they came from broken families... No, 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 the question is this. Alcohol, this is, it's okay? No, here's the thing, you see. Who said it was okay? We have a pro How do we Why fix that problem? Why Muslims help those women instead of raping what? them? Okay, first thing, how can I help a girl that her family have neglected yeah, and put in a home? How can I help her? Oh, maybe you should just rape her. Give no, her some how, money. No, no, how can, how, how can I help her? Police know, you, everyone you can knows. spend some money taking her to rehab. So, right, right. 1,400 girls in Rotherham, English girls, their families threw them to the streets and they tried to find love whatever that they is could. Not correct. That is, is it not? not thrown to the streets. Were they not, were they not in care? Someone in care, in care homes. Oh, majority. Listen, if I've got, if I've got a 14 year old girl, yeah, I know where she is every second of the day. How can a 13 year old girl skip school and go to a hotel with a geezer to drink alcohol? How can their parents not know where their daughters are? How can you guys take advantage of that? Who's, who's me, guys? Me, guys! These Pakistani groups. Okay. That's, actually, what did I say to you? A rapist will Why? pray. Listen to me. Why a rapist, are you supporting what? them? What? Why are you supporting them? Listen to me. They're scum. I'm not supporting rapists. They're scum. So you're telling me that the women, the girls are scum and the men are scum? No. I said the girls are victims of neglect. And that these scumbags prey on their vulnerability. Now this country has a society problem of neglecting girls. Well, we always right. have, but this is a recent... So we always have. That's why we had care home scandals. That's why in boarding schools, here's the key, listen to the words again, vulnerability. This is why poor white, sorry, poor Filipino girls are raped by white English tourists because they're vulnerable. They don't go to the Philippines to the rich families, give me your daughter. They prey on the one who's vulnerable. The word, listen to this word again, vulnerable. Why are they vulnerable? Because society didn't care until brown men started raping them. Okay, then why was I raped? Was I vulnerable? Were you, okay, were you were raped by a grooming gang or by someone in your family? By a very wealthy Saudi who kidnapped me and I was... So, you, so it, was, it, was it a grooming gang or just someone it close to you? One single... Right, right. But it was actually organised by, by... First thing, let's understand one thing. I'm talking about grooming gangs. I'm talking about preying on a girl who's vulnerable, offering her things to gain her trust and then using and abusing her, yeah? Now, if you're raped within a family construct or something like that, this is a different story. It was a, it was a trap. I was going out on a date with a blonde... How old were you? 52. Uh, 30. 13. 30. 30? Yes. Right. Now we're talking about vulnerable girls here, not adult women. Yeah, I was not I was not vulnerable at all. Well, I'll give you a beautiful Islamic... I, I'll tell okay. you what happened. I went out on a date with a normal right. blonde, blue-eyed guy. And he said, I can't take you to the restaurant. I have to go to a business meeting. We went to a very big house. Right. And there were all these men in white robes. So this blonde, blue-eyed guy, yeah. is he a Muslim? Uh, no, he was probably... So you, so you were groomed by an English guy? Carry on. So um, <laughs> I, I was taken to the house. He's probably given a lot of money for this. Right. Right? And I was right there. Right. So the English guy groomed you? Yes? Yeah. And you're blaming Muslims? Well, he didn't rape me. But he groomed you? I took you there. He groomed you? Okay, yeah. In Rotherham, there was two white... In Rotherham, there was two white women complicit in the grooming. Yeah. Okay. Going to find vulnerable girls. I know it happens, but it shouldn't happen. So wait, I'm meant to blame the blonde guy? No, you asked us to blame society. Why are we neglecting these girls? That's the question that needs to be asked. Nobody asked that question except me. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
why does nobody say, how can these 13 year old girls be in hotels with men drinking alcohol in the middle of the day when they should be in school? Nobody cared about them. And they sought love whatever they could. Yeah? Now, do you know what solves that problem? That thing you hate. Islam. <laughs> exactly. This is true. Well, what about Catholicism? Islam. Catholicism. Yeah. How does Catholicism solve that problem when we have Catholic priests raping vulnerable boys? Why is that the only religion? Which? What, Islam? Oh, okay. Yeah. Islam is the only religion that can give you a way of life. The actual way to live your life. Yeah? Oh God, I'm bored. I don't blame you. Walk away! It hurts! It stings! I know it stings! Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, a um, young lady here was uh, crying about um, Muslims taking over her country. I pointed out, mashallah, six, seven English boys here, mashallah, who embraced Islam. She couldn't quite fathom it. Then when we tried to walk where a hatred of Islam come from, she starts talking about raping girls, grooming gangs. And I've done my talk about this on the video, you've seen it. The question again needs to be asked, these girls are victims. They're victims of rapist scumbags. They're victims of a society that neglected them. And they're victims of their own naivety.